A second teenager who reportedly made terroristic threats about black students at Arborview High School has decided to take a plea deal. Uh, the student is accused of spreading disturbing and hateful rhetoric on social media. 8 News Now was the only TV station inside the courtroom this morning, and Shakela Avarang is in the newsroom with what happened in court. Shakela? Well, Christiane, the student, only 15 years old, admitted today to making terroristic threats. All of the other charges will be dismissed. In one of the posts, he and another teen say they want to cleanse the hallways of black people and called for a Columbine shooting part two. So it would be this one. The I want to go Columbine part two is where my son was. When we were looking at it, he said... I'm going to be known as one of the boys that was going to be shot and killed at school, and I don't want to be that boy. One of the people accused of writing those words, this 15-year-old boy. We are not showing his face because he's a juvenile. How can someone be so hateful? A child can be so hateful, but you learned this from your parents. He and another teenager are accused of writing hate posts on Instagram, targeting black students at Arborview High School. Cooks and several other parents wore these t-shirts inside of the courtroom. It says no racism in schools, hashtag 1865. They had a whole plan. This was a whole planned school shooting that was going to happen. Um, and it was going to be a Columbine part two, as he stated he wanted to do. A 14-year-old boy has already been sentenced to an out-of-community placement program. My frustration is gone now because I know I have a job to do, and I know I have children to protect, and I have children to fight for besides my own. Um, so I can't stick with the frustration. I have to channel my anger and put it where it needs to go. Cooks and eight other mothers have since launched a national campaign aimed at combating hate in schools. We are ready to be the voice through every school district that this does not happen. It doesn't get swept under the rug. It gets addressed um, and, and it's dealt with and not just uh, get over it. We're not getting over anything. CCSD officials are working with the National Equity Project out of California to provide better training for both students and staff. That second suspect, by the way, will be back in court Friday morning. Denise.